when eyes shed a river of tears, when the sound of guns echo through the bright sky, fear and brutality go together in the dark of night. For what do we wage war? For whom do we live? For whom do we kill? For whom do we die? Can you hear my voice? Peace means no war, no hatred, no poverty or starvation, no destitution, no homelessness. When the mind is peaceful, the world is peaceful. Follow that crimson silhouette up ahead, steady with each step, leading us along a lush mountain path, passing through a cornfield stretching beyond the horizon. He says he wants to show us that peaceful world within his heart. He is Master Xin Dao, who was born in Myanmar, grew up in Taiwan, and founded Lingzhou Mountain. This is a school for novice monks near Lashio in northern Myanmar, where Master Xin Dao was born. But when he was their age, this area was ravaged by war and he was orphaned. Today, he is the founder of this school, which he envisions as the precursor of the University for Life and Peace. The embodiment are boundless aspirations for peace and goodwill from around the world. This is where the seeds of hope, sown with love, took root in 2016. In such a big world, how is it that Master Xin Dao chose to establish this school in a remote area of Myanmar, this nation of some 135 ethnicities and six decades of civil war. Master Xin Dao was born in 1948 as Yang Xiaoshen in an impoverished village near the border with China's Yunnan province. At the age of four, he became an orphan. And at the age of nine, he joined a guerrilla unit as a child soldier, always on the move. He experienced the horrors of war until the age of 13, when his unit was decommissioned and sent to Taiwan. Knowing well the bitter taste of impermanence and war, Master Xin Dao came to understand the preciousness of peace. At the age of 15, he dedicated himself to treading the path of spiritual awakening and became a Buddhist monk when he was 25. After 10 years of living as a solitary ascetic in lonely cemeteries and mountain caves, in 1984, at the age of 35, he established the Lingzhou Mountain Monastery on a rocky crag hugging Taiwan's northeast coast above the town of Fulong, where he meditated in a tiny cave facing the ocean. This is how Lingzhou Mountain began, from inner practice to outer teaching, from practicing austerities to treading the Bodhisattva path. It was in this tiny cave that Lingzhou Mountain was born, as well as the Museum of World Religions, which promotes interreligious dialogue and exchange. One of the big team, I speak to you too. As At the third parliament of the world's religions, held in Cape Town, South Africa in 1999, Chairman Howard A. Sulkin declared that the MWR is a gift of peace given by religion to the people of the 21st century. Having known tragedy and loss at an early age, Master Xing Dao came to understand the value of peace. And over the years, he has never forgotten his roots in Myanmar. 
where his vision of peace first took shape. Master Xindao's teachings center on the practice of Chan meditation and encompass the three main schools of Buddhism. Energized by a vow of compassion, his feet clad in crimson shoes, he strides into churches and temples the world over to discuss religion and peace. From his own cultivation of inner peace, he has developed the practice of peace meditation which anyone can learn. He has also formulated the Inner Peace Campaign, consisting of tranquility, kindness, dialogue, vegetarianism, reusable bags, energy conservation, carbon reduction, water conservation, and reforestation. He also urges people to reduce noise and carbon emissions and eat less. This is a practical way of caring for the earth and realizing the ideal of a global family of love and peace. While teaching meditation around the world, Master Xin Dao always stresses that when the mind is at peace, the world is at peace. Every year, Master Xin Dao meets with scholars and leaders from different religions to discuss environmental issues and world peace, including such universal concerns as poverty, education, and environmental protection. In cooperation with leaders from around the world, he works on finding solutions to our common problems. Shortly after the 9-11 terrorist attacks, the MWR opened and its affiliate, the Global Family for Love and Peace, was established in New York as an NGO and soon held the first Buddhist-Muslim dialogue. Afterwards, Buddhist-Muslim dialogues have been held around the world as a way of fostering mutual understanding and reducing conflict. This is how Lingzhou Mountain has been encouraging both Buddhists and Muslims to work together to create a world of peace, justice, sustainability, and good governance. In addition, Master Xin Dao teaches peace meditation around the world to people of different faiths who come to experience the inner tranquility we all require. For it's through this tranquility that we contact our interconnectedness and universal spiritual nature. This is the essence of what Master Xin Dao has been teaching of life and peace ever since establishing Linjo Mountain. Now that Master Xin Dao's programs for interreligious dialogue and spiritual education are in place, he is now working on establishing a world-class university for life and peace in his hometown of Lashio, Myanmar. Envisioned as an extension of the MWR, the University for Life and Peace will provide holistic education in an interreligious environment, along with an orphanage, an organic farm, charity health clinic education, and a hall of religion for promoting interreligious harmony and the ideals of love and peace. This love and peace is something that we want to share with the whole world. This dream can become a reality when everybody works together for the common good. Peace is not merely the absence of war. Real peace comes through education. It's not merely an academic subject, 
but learning how to actually live a life of peace. This starts with learning how to keep one's mind peaceful in the present moment. With compassion and Chan meditation as his central teaching, for several decades, Master Xindao has been leading retreats, pilgrimages, and ceremonies, and organizing educational and charitable activities. Chan meditation brings inner peace. Compassion arises from recognition of interdependence. Love for the entire planet is the way of peace. This is the approach by which Master Xin Dao has become widely recognized as a Chan meditation teacher and philanthropist. For many years, Master Xin Dao has been promoting interreligious dialogue and contact between the different schools of Buddhism. Based on the principle of mutual respect and understanding, he advocates love and peace as the best approach to environmental sustainability. Now that the MWR is well established, Master Xin Dao is leading the groundwork for the University for Life and Peace in Myanmar as a gift of peace to the people of the world, lost in the tumult of globalization and the chaos of the information age. It's all about returning to the beauty of the spirit and transmitting it to each future generation. Love is our universal truth. Peace is our eternal aspiration. Love has tranquility as its source. Peace nourishes life. Love is our common requirement. Peace is the prerequisite of sustainability. In the resonance of respect, tolerance, and universal love, may everyone return to their spiritual source and share it with the entire world to create a global family of sustainable peace. Let us together create a world blessed with beauty and joy when the mind is at peace, the world is at peace. Can you hear my voice?